to mm, like a tuna salad or something. Okay, I'm going to bring us back from recess. I'm going to bring us back from recess. Uh, we did not. Uh, uh, we do not need to do roll call and pledge, and there are no public comments, anyways. And so we're just back from recess, and uh, we're going to try to. Well, we're going to. I'm going to commit just for everyone's respect to keep this to two hours. So we'll we'll finish. If uh, Nusa will finish at. Um, at 2.20, I'm sorry, 12.20. Yes. And um, I'm just going to uh, turn this all back to Noosa. Thank you. Thank you, Smitty. Okay, uh, testing, everybody clear? Okay. So today, what, what, let me go back. When we met last, we did a lot of zooming in and out to get perspective and to find a kind of an al aligned core on several levels, on mission, on the calling, on vision, on how we wanted to work together. And so at the end of the day, at all that being done, and then with some specific ideas in terms of what that looks like in plan, it wasn't, we weren't ready to land the plane because we're doing a lot of strategic thinking, a lot of elevation and to go back go into all right now let's ready set go we open so many so many doors so many windows and that's why i paused us where i did and smitty had some one-on-ones with you guys so you all had you've had a chance to meet one-on-one -on -one and get kind of aligned and have the experience of moving into this new chapter with Smitty as chair. Uh, the new, it's, it's a different tone. Battles have been fought. The ground is clear. We know who, we're pl who our players are, how we play well, who, how we want to play well with each other, why we're here, what we're here to do. So now, this set up many, many possibilities. That's all wonderful. Today, we're going to focus on one specific thing, and that is to get, get you guys, give you a clear, clear lanes to produce this five-year plan. Now, that includes a myriad of other things. However, we're going to, this is a time to focus in, which I think I know you've been ready for from the start. <laughs> And, uh, and, and we want to do, be all on the same page as we do that. So we're not going to today produce a five-year plan, but we are going to set up roles and tasks and, and distill some of what we, we did. So some of the distillation, I met with Smitty, and in that distillation, we're going to elevate some focus areas to help umbrella, the umbrellas, uh, categories under which the overall efforts and also the five-year plan can can proceed. Kiara is printing some examples of five-year plans and what I've done is I've pulled out a very simple five-year plan and a very beautiful advanced five-year plan. That five-year plan I think we can look forward to maybe around here producing one like that because so many of the things that involved in the hub, the technology, the gathering of information, the, align the working in an aligned way have to happen. Some of the going out and connecting with the community, the stakeholders, where's our stakeholder map? The stakeholders, having those contacts and hearing from the stakeholders what they're needing and all of that is gonna go into a more mature version. But I just want us to see what that'll look like and then put it into, onto a future plane so that we can do something that is right for right now for this town, this time, this team. So today, <coughs> we've had an intro just now. Uh, we've also, I sent something out not sure if anybody was able to access this whiteboard, but it's where you can kind of zoom in and zoom out on all of the graphics and images. That's something that you can use as a workspace now and later if you want to review any of these. Uh, but anyway, so we're... Was that format you did it in, and where is that? Uh, I sent a link. I saw that, but where... 
We're in it's, the cloud. It's like Miro. It's another one. I, I'm forgetting the name of it. Uh, the the link is links I sent were from Dropbox. It, it's a I'll look for it. It's it's like mural mural. Yes, I'm I confused it with Miro. Because it because it mural. But it's probably your account on Miro. Or yes, but you have access to yes that. right. I, uh, it would we, be can, nice we can we make one bring that into our can, hub yeah yeah too. and and it will be great i will introduce you to that technology because I, I i encourage you and i will be happy to come back and circle back as i've told you smitty to circle back and support you to develop ways of working with some degree of intimacy and ease virtually as well as in person and so it's a great tool to stay visual and be able to pop in your ideas and hear from one another so yes mural thank you so there's a mural in addition to what you see here. And you'll integrate that into your tech. tech. Uh, next, we're going to look at focus areas. And is it Maynard, your Wayne? friend? Wayne. What? Wayne. 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 When he was here last, he also suggested the same thing, which is, and it's, it's absolutely standard, and that is when you do all this work, you look at it and say, okay, now, what are the umbrellas? And so uh, Smitty and I met over some of this kind of distillation, and we'll t talk to those. Then we'll look at what is the plan that we want to create. We'll <laughs> assign, we'll take, uh, take roles divide it up and divide and conquer, but also di not divide separately, but work together. Uh, and the model that I'm going to use is simply the different kind of headlines. There'll be a, a lead or a team, and then people support and people informed. So you guys can all sign up for different aspects of it according to what this, your strengths are. And then as we finish, I want us to do as part of our, we'll do a checkout, but also how are we going to speak about this, communicate, so that we all walk away as you're, you've got name tags and you've been showing up at different places as representatives of the Arts Commission. As people ask you questions, you'll be able to say, this is where we are. We had a meeting. We worked on a five-year plan. We zoomed out. We looked at all the main, the main uh, pillars, and then we came up with these focus areas, and we're developing this plan, and we've broken into teams, and that's where something similar to that, but just want you to all be able to comfortably be on the same page in what you're telling folks. And in the focus area area, it's actually also a Smitty check-in because one of the things that you guys discussed was new ways of working. And it's a different, it's a new era. You guys are getting together uh, informally and you're working together in a flexible way. And so Smitty, in a, you're going to be setting the tone throughout this time by uh, how we're, you know, just, just you, it's your tone to set in terms of how we communicate and uh, we're not using Robert's or Rose, Rosen, Rosenberg. Rosenberg's rules, so you're going to develop new ways of working together. But I just want to bring that back to you because that's, you, you're kind of setting, you're setting the tone that everybody's going to be flying with or harmonizing with. How's that sound for a plan today? All good, okay. <clears throat> so, we don't have the mural yet. Mural, some of you saw it. You saw it? Good. So just if you don't mind, uh, actually, let me begin with the end in mind. How many people saw the Tacoma art plan? I sent it to you last time, too. Yeah, I did the first time. This is, this is a repeat. Uh, Kiara's uh, printing a couple of versions of it, so we'll see it. And then... I've, I've printed a very a smaller version that you can just take a quick look at. And she's going to print out versions. <coughs> and then this is an even simpler version. Sorry, my printer's only printing, and it's like that. Yeah. And, and you, you probably want to do that in terms of just from the beginning with the end in mind. 
you'll probably want to do a kind of a executive summary version and the inspirational information uh, grant attracting grantee member inspiring version as well so so this is the summary the sort of this is the summary this, there's a that's a super simple one page yeah, summary yeah, sure sure got it and these are very diverse I just want to give you an idea mm -hmm. of how diverse these can be and actually let's have a little conversation about what what do you think you want to have it be yeah. in terms of the outcome I, would it be helpful if I um, well this, yes. it will be helpful yes. <laughs> Please. I just wanted because I met with everybody yeah. and um, and we both realized at the same time we have like some short-term things coming up and at the same time we have our dreams of our long-term plan too so I sort of gave some people some things to do already uh, and so I just want everyone but everyone at the table doesn't know everything that I gave everybody else so just sort of briefly first of all Pamela made these <laughs> she wanted a task so uh, we have our little name tags uh, with their little magnets on the back uh, but uh, Pam Pam was also um, going to start uh, on terms of inventorying she was uh, uh, starting or uh, assigned her to both to uh, for artist inventory and see what what's out there in the community just as one of our uh, constituent um, stakeholders in the community to try to do it and to also do it in an organized way that can fit our long-term goal of everything being of us being a hub and central thing so uh, with a little technology uh, thing about it too she also expressed uh, uh, a lot of interest in actually the the form of what our five-year plan might take and so uh, that's with Pam with Valerie we talked about um, uh, starting on the inventory side to start taking inventory of the organizations in town to see and to work with Pamela and find a common uh, kind of a, a technological uh, foundation for that too and um, that crosses over with Christine and public art to make sure that our inventory of what we have and what we do with it is also um, uh, can be pulled into kind of a hub as well uh, Nigel I talked a little bit uh, we talked about hi him being a, a great communication uh, 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 lieutenant for us to um, to make sure that our kind of commu communication with all our stakeholders is is uh, consistent and effective and then I was working on um, I probably told you contacting um, uh, re uh, communicating with the council which sort of has happened but not completely too uh, with uh, another with the other commissions and parks and rec which I've started to do as well and um, l search about uh, look for ways to uh, help us fund activities that the Commission is doing that are about Commission development and not strictly about arts and trying to get creative that in the current uh, uh, budget request um and oh and an, i told everyone to think about an economic impact when you talk to people in the community we're going to be in probably and maybe in this plan we'll have a simple one but in this two-year five-year plan <laughs> two-year five from now have a, maybe a, a good effective uh, presentation of what the impact of the arts are in our community name tags brown act training uh and dinners yeah, which uh, is I think is a great idea for this new kind of tone and way for us to get together. You make them, you don't make them. You bring food, you don't bring food. We maybe have some guests that um, uh, can help uh, just bring some fresh fertilizer to the way that we think uh, people from the community. So but, I just but mm -hmm. just to clarify, yes. there will be no business discussed, so there will be no brown act mm -hmm. implication. This is merely social. Correct. I think that's really important. Correct. We won't and be right. This will go ahead. Yeah, there's one other point I wanted to make, which is not only will I be doing uh, the working with Pam on the 
database aspect, but more importantly, that database will have a purpose, and that is to get a handle on what we have and to make sure the conservation and maintenance is squared away and up to snuff. Sure. Beautiful. Okay. okay. Yes, Pam. Yeah. Inviting maybe other creative people from the community yeah. to join us, so it's it's sort of like an informal meeting with the arts commissioner, mm -hmm. but not business related, mm -hmm. like getting to know artists. In the right. Community. Great. We'll we'll be careful that we're not showing favoritism, <clears throat> as someone uh, pointed out to me, and we'll be careful. And I think it's mainly about like surprise. I, I used to I had a mentor, and we would have a weekly dinner, and uh, we were. We were in the business community, but we would invite a new, uh, it, was for, it was like a barbecue with steaks and wine at his house in New Orleans. But each week we'd invite someone, like we had a general from the Army, we had a judge, we, we had a plumber, a guy, I mean, a guy with a plumbing business, just some, someone new to kind of uh, give fertilizer was sort of, sort of an idea. So it, it isn't like, oh, we have to talk about you know frankly, the, the plan I, I mean, i'm sorry to interrupt but frankly mm -hmm. i would prefer as we've discussed before that we bring a number of people to come to our meetings and i am hopeful that out of this list of nonprofit arts organizations as well as artists we can draw from those lists to invite people and i'd like to recommend that that one of the things you do today is assign someone to make those invitations on a rotating basis. And I would prefer that situation to inviting them to our informal discussions because I think we invariably could um, uh, roam into the territory of the Brown Act and we certainly don't want to do that. We as commissioners know what we have to do and that is to only have non-business related stuff but I think it's more difficult for non-commissioners to understand. So I don't mean entirely No, to I was checking you, my notes I and I actually assigned you to be the next to pick the next two guests at our okay. dinner. How's that? Uh, okay. As well, I check my I, notes, I, I shall. See that. But, um, <laughs> but, uh, but more importantly, I, I want someone assigned to invite people to our meetings because I think that's a benefit for us as well as for the community. Yeah. So, next day on extra guests, maybe just the spouse or Well, oh, for tomorrow night, let's just talk about that after, and then we'll, we'll Christine can, I think, help us then uh, for the future ones. Microf <laughs> microphone, please. Make extra chocolate cake, please. <laughs> Okay, and to that point, Christine, there, and I'll be happy to share with you, there are some easy ways to integrate people into a meeting and have, and, and have them feel included and not uh, the way that I saw it at the city council where they feel like they're kind of on display, but you can actually bring people in in a warmer way that I think is more in keeping with the tone that That's you're our regular meetings. aiming to set into your, into your regular meetings. There are ways to bring people in to a meeting that make them feel warmly welcomed and partner in a, in a, a, a warm, easy, new fertilizer way. <laughs> okay, so this is a great update. It's name tags, artist inventory. So, there's a, so the inventory, and that was one of the things that we wanted to do, which is in order to represent the community, you kind of have to know who you're representing. And we did a preliminary stakeholder map, but your work inventorying and some of this data is gonna give some structure and substance to the plan. So you're, you're doing the work, perfect. Smitty, can we go uh, and introduce, oh wait, first of all, uh, beforehand, uh, I'd like to look at the begin with the end in mind on the plan. I've heard you say that you'd like to have a simple version, and I've also heard artful version. Do you want, let, let's think in terms of what we'd like to actually produce. Are you thinking about, and you've seen a couple of model, three models, one that's just basically a spreadsheet, one that is this very beautiful, complex, aspirational plan, and the short one that I think you've seen as well. The, the other Did this one. To you? Yes. Okay. The one that somebody's looking at. 
Smitty, can you just hold that one up so that we can see? I mean, see? my my instinct. Just show us that. The, yeah, that. Okay, yeah. thanks. That one. That's the short version. Thank you. My, that was it. No, just, just to hold it up so people can so see. Yeah. My my instinct is is that um, we are a very small commission. We're only five members. We do not. So night. We do not have. Uh, staff support other than in a very minimal way so so unlike the uh, cities that produced elaborate and and impressive um, analyses and reports we don't have an arts department and so that makes a big difference I think in terms of what we're able to generate uh, so I'd like us to keep that in mind just so our um, aspirations meet our realities. I, um, I'm unsure what you mean by arts department. Um, but I, for me, I like clean, concise, and simplicity that's focused. Um, I feel very confused and overwhelmed when I see all these murals and everything. I'm a, I'm a bullet point kind of simple one word type of person. So I would like uh, us to have a focus and just have it be very clean and, and concise. And I feel that the city council would be able to comprehend um, and the community would be able to comprehend things that are our five-year plan if it's clean and concise yeah absolutely That's a really good point because we're doing this for the city council it's one of our obligations under the ordinance and we want the public to understand it as well and I'm also a bullet point person so I'm totally with you there well what I suggest Noosa is that whether or not we have big fancy uh, future plans with lots of pretty pictures and everything or we just have a bullet point we're going to have the same bullets for the outline and maybe is that what we're going to do right now yeah, like this is our state of the art right now one are you going to lead us in those or ask me to suggest yes something? that is that's next so i just want you to have a sense of i just want you to see what's out there that, that now this is the super aspirational people have an art team this is a very evolved super arts community is that this um either tacoma or so oh, it's tacoma or San Mateo, one of those. Uh, they have these huge, beautiful, amazing pieces of work, art in and of themselves. Then a very practical version, which is kind of a simple, this Olympia's municipal plan. And then the simple spreadsheet or something, a, a modified version of yeah, those. I, I think with Pam and I, we're both artists, so we do have an art art department here and uh, I think that um, I know I've been photographing a lot of uh, from different events and art so I feel that we should have a visual very simple visual impact I would say with a photograph quote uh, even if it's a photograph provided by one of our grant recipients like the storytelling festival maybe something from the performing just something very simple but then also to have the the spreadsheet but I feel like we really need to have our core values just five words of our core values just so when we are looking at our grants that we can reflect back to our core values and say, okay, well, this this grant recipient, they're you know educational, they're reaching out to the community, they they're going to have a big impact, they're innovative. What are our, our collective core values that we can all agree on, whether it's five words or six words? Yes, the, so the, that's a perfect lead-in then to the distillation work that Smitty. Are we going to do that me. now? Let's do the focus area. Well, I think we're kind of... We're, we're moving into it naturally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think we're maybe even ahead, ahead of it. where you're going here. So like, uh, I think it's pretty clear what these will be. Is there, Are you going to make a list of them, like what yeah. the bullet points are? Like, yes. Is this your what and how and why yeah, statements here. in oh, okay, front so and the state of the current situation and law? 
our yeah. vision for where it's going to go and how we get from here to there. Uh, yeah. Is that it? That's, that's <laughs> in there as well. So yeah, so you've got your, you've, some of the basics is you, you give a state of the art, state of the current situation. Mm -hmm. uh, the headlines, Smitty, that, that, that Smitty and I, uh, Smitty shared with me, were very much of a, and on this, I'm sorry, it's very small, it's a how, what, and for whom. So the Does how. Does everyone have that? Yeah. No. How has to do with funding. Another thing that you guys mentioned, that you mentioned, uh, Christine, uh, that Smitty was calling a, a healthy Ohio Arts Commission. So what is it that the commission needs to be able to run in a healthy way? So communicate. communicate with each other and with the city. Yeah. In a friendly, kind, clear, supportive way. Yes, and l let me just, I'm going to write these because some of the things that you have, you have your, in order to get to the hub, there was all this data and information, and Smitty was calling it tech, and I'm calling it tech hub, and that's what you guys are already starting to do some of your inventories for, as well as drawing tools. Another is uh, partnering. Yes. Yes, where is that? Connection, the connection. And this is the for whom. Let's partner in the city. Yes, with the city and the artists. And this is this is basically a lot of this work we did. So uh, I'm going to just do these are headlines. So the state of the situation. You're going to want to put that. You want information about the finances, both in and out. Uh, what this body? Yes. Sorry, what this, but these are focus areas, but you're also going to reference these. So focus areas are public art. This is your what? Uh, education. And you have all these ways that you're doing it. So the projects are, well, I guess you're not calling them projects. What are you reading from? I'm reading from... I mean, what is I'm afraid it's this section here, but it's it's from our your notes as it's well. It's our stuff. Okay, it's good. our stuff. Right. Your stuff, our stuff. Correct. I just put it yeah. here because okay, I didn't know if you had one from these other. Sections, no, what I did was I took and looked at all our maps yeah. and headlined and cross referenced those. Okay, with I got it. Go ahead. Smitty's yeah. headlines. I just didn't have a copy. Yes. No, but that's good for the public also to understand where we are. So mm -hmm. I think that elaboration was valuable. So this is the this is a transparency on the thinking. So these are some of the uh, the maps that we had, the stakeholders map, the mission, some of the challenges I distilled uh, into. If you look at the top right, it's um, the there was unutilized funds. There was uh, just the need for more more funding. There were data and information reliability issues low public visibility and outreach, a desire to be more in, in touch with stakeholders, inconsistent communications, uh, needing to have a clear focus, focus areas, and ways of working together. So those are some of the headlines, and they have a lot of sub-bullets that are sub, they're on stickies, but they're basically bullets from your notes. Uh, and so the, the focus areas that we distilled are education, public art, art grants. And connect is communication, right? Yes, and the connect is communication. That's, we're going to, I it? think, call it a communication. Outreach. Sort of. And it can be communication. Because that's how we... Okay. That that's how that's who, and how. That that's our stakeholder because we have to communicate with all of them. Okay. Right. So this is something you. This is in a way the state of the situation, which you have your history that we did in that map. So the state of the situation is going to introduce it. And that's that's the opportunity and the challenge. Then these are your focus areas now funding healthy organization and tech. These are all how. 
so how you do your work. You, you need more money, you're going to give money, so there's that side. How you work, Smitty talked about bringing in some support. Uh, Christine and Valerie and Pamela have all raised the importance of doing things right and also that we have internal capabilities and so using utilizing what we have uh, but also not over utilizing or not, not taxing ourselves too much so finding some way to support that and working well together so you have this whole section on how does everybody work and you've kind of developed understanding of each other's strengths and a new ways of working so that's all part of healthy organization healthy Ohio arts commission and then the tech hub this is a big part of your vision that it starts off with the tool with the capability and with the information but in two years it's a, a, and this is the the physical side of it the other side is the outreach side and communications and presence grant education public art or parts of that but in two years this is goes from your presence in little individual events to and and the beginnings of a website that works with uh, transparency about resources and opportunities to something vital that people feel like they're a part of so you, you remember that feeling that's that's where we're headed and so how what and for and with whom are basic categories. And uh, so some of the values is going to be some of your how, how you work together, and also the, the well, actually the why. The why is your mission. You're going to want to include that. And in this sheet, I put here work. I don't, it's, sorry, it's small. But it says bring together the legal mandate with the spirit of what is called for now. Organize this into a mission statement and stay inspired as you do it. <laughs> but this is some of the work that you guys are going to have to divide and conquer or gather and conquer to pull this together. Is there anything missing that you think that this needs to include? Yes, Valerie. Um, I feel that education is more of a core value. I feel like presently, because we have allocated money towards art education, that we have a responsibility for education. But I see education as a core value so that when we are looking at grants, we are looking at a core value of education uh, and education within the, the public art. But I think of as having it as an entity of its own. I'm, I'm not so sure about that. I see the arts grants and the public art, and I see how education could fit within those areas, but I don't see it as an entity as its own. Only, only for this next up until June 30th, because we have funds for education that we have to spend. But I think beyond that, I would <coughs> I see it as a core value, as arts grants and public art, not as an entity of its own. Actually, uh, I I, dis uh, I didn't mean to jump well, in. I was going to say I, I disagree. <laughs> but I, what I, were you going to yeah, say? Yeah, I I disagree as well. Uh, I agree it's a do it. I I agree it's a fundamental value. Uh, but I think all all of these issues are a fundamental value. I think the importance of education, uh, uh, the work uh, OSA is doing with the schools, for example, that will then result in something that will be shown at the museum. Great educational project. The anticipated four-prong seminar, great educational value. So I think our, our job is to, is twofold, to look out as well as to look in. And, and the looking out is the part of education that I think is, is so critical and I think it, it deserves a separate um, prong of, or a separate leg of this three-legged stool. 
Okay. I was going to sort of say the same thing, but I think um, the grants are a way to help fund our artists in town, but the education is to inspire and expand whoops, expand what we're <laughs> the artists are doing. So I think it's I think it's really important yeah. as a functionality of the commission since we're we're partnering not doing I think bringing in um, educational aspects to the community is part of what we do. Uh, well, just, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna jump in here and just say, guess what? Everybody's right. Okay, it's it's a core value. Uh, but what I've been doing, and I'm, I'm kind of trying to just push us ahead, you know, towards something here is what I'm trying to do at the same time. We're going to have our values, and they're going to be about inclusiveness. They're going to be about community. They're going to be about education. They're going to be about the children. They're going to be about serving everybody. They're about pulling people together, getting government to work better together, finding new creative ways of of paying for things, uh, uh, how to do some things ourselves, but how to do how to know how to connect to others because our long term because when I when I'm thinking here is out here the what we want we want a major art installation one, one day we want a a a center a hub that's a, even a physical place where we can go right now we want people to see the Arts Commission as being some where everything kind of comes together and so to do that the plan I want to actually organize our, our plan and our budget in a way that we have these chunks so what I want to do here is not add, I, I want as few chunks as we can, mm -hmm. but then I want absolutely everything else that we took in terms of little goals, short and long term, to fit into one of these chunks. Because that's how I'm going to take a, that's how I'm going to go ask for money. You know, I'm going to say, we, you know, our core value is education. We're doing a speaker series. We want, we want to be able to do this. Or if we can't get money for that, we want to support another arts organization. So kind of what I want, I, didn't, I don't want to hijack you, but I want to push us now to see, we already did all this work and decided as what, who we were going to help and, and, um, and uh, how we're going to do it and who we are. And, uh, and then sort of some, this is like, ah, we have so much to do, but now we're going to put it into a plan that's going to say boom, 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 boom. And every time something comes up, we're going to be able to say, ah, even if we don't have an individual in charge of each of these areas, the, we have th these functional areas inside our organization. So we know, I see, can we afford a speaker series? That's, we're going to go to our education side and see that. And this is how we're going to both manage w what we do from here on out. It's how we're going to communicate to the community. Mm -hmm. And it's how we're going to go to our boss and say, hey, you know, you asked us for help, here's how we're going to help you. So sort of what I'm hoping is that everything, look around, everything we've already done here, it, I think it'll fit into one of these. Mm -hmm. And this is not too many. I thought it was six, but it's growing. Yeah. <laughs> Finding mm -hmm. healthy organization, uh, arts commission. Well, on the healthy arts organization, I was trying to make a thing there. That's where I was trying to make sure we had, uh, we had help to keep us healthy. You know what I mean? We need to make sure that we have an understanding of what staff we have available to us. Could we get a little staff or get a little bit of help to educate ourselves, you know, and being better commissioners, that sort of thing. Um, uh, so this is about None of this can work if it's not a healthy commission. Right. So that was sort of, so I, so I, I want that something new. Mm -hmm. Even is, if we just got a thousand big. bucks or something, mm -hmm. just get them, get the council used to seeing, to make a good commission, you don't just have volunteers that show up and go away going, oh God, you know, uh, we actually can make stuff happen. So that's the only one that might, might not have been really clear. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was, and then this tech hub thing in, in, in corporations now, the, the chief information officer is, is one of the most important people, even though he doesn't have specific things that look like, like if it's a, if it's a, uh, you know, if it's a tech, well, I, says, I say it's an oil company, the chief information officer is not looking for oil, but he's, he's in charge of creating this central thing that connects everything and makes it not just available to him, but it's available to all the stakeholders as well. We want to the community to be able to go to our hub and see 
um, what have we done or what are we going to done? We want the, the city council to be able to do that. We want the, the uh, we want the chair or the whoever the officer is that's making sure it's running well to be always able to get uh, an update and know where things are as well. So that's why that's so important too. And so I want that to be a separate budget item when we request our budget as well. And then we got a, grants has always been such a big thing. We, we debated about whether that's its own thing or not. I think in our case, we keep it its own thing because it's always been our uh, largest budget item. So I don't and want- And it's in the ordinance. I mean, it's in our- And it's in our, yeah. Also so we want to make sure everything in the, I'm going to give this back. I just wanted okay. to- I, I, I just do want to circle back. Thank you so much, Smitty. That's exactly perfect. You're even on the agenda for just that. Uh, <laughs> Valerie, if you look at all of our low ripe hanging fruit, you're going to see a lot of education in addition to some of this. So I think, anyway, backing up what I think um, several of you have said, that that's what I saw as a, as a viable headline in addition to being a value. So you're value centric. Yes, Pamela. Oh, I was just saying under education is where mentor mentor programs were and you know there's just lots of other things there yeah there's a whole sheet full of them and then you have the beginnings of your timeline so you can as you see in some of these you really don't have to give every single detail of what you're doing but you give the headlines of where you're looking to be and some of the basic information of how you're looking to get there we've done the preparatory work for that so I just wanted to see if we feel that we can distill and, and I've given you I've shared this tool which will make available I'll, I'll show you guys how to make available to you as a, as a work tool that allows you you can zoom in kind of infinitely on this whiteboard and see every little detail but the kind of reduction and distillation from the maps is similar to some of what you're going to be doing, like what Smitty just said about values. You're going to do that with the mission. S some of you are going to sit and do some work on mission. And <clears throat> I, I wrote a few things here for vision. It's a little too small, and it's probably redundant. But Ojai Arts Commission, is a, I just pulled out some of the key themes. It's a connected catalyst for creativity. It is a hub that supports the experience of arts in Ojai. It is a place to be in, what? I know, you need a, a, a magnifying glass. Which one is that? It's the bottom left, it's so small. I think our, our mission is in here somewhere? I think, I think your, your vision is in here. Your mission, I'm, I'm giving you to work, to hash out. And Christine needs to be on that because you need to bring in the legal clarity. Uh, but here, I'm just reading the distillation I pulled together, which you guys will cobble down. But the Ojai Arts Commission is connected, a connected catalyst for creativity. It is a hub that supports the experience of arts in Ojai. It is a place to go to be informed, inspired, and connected. It is oh, through information partnering, education partnering grants information inspiration and education education and access we stimulate and encourage the vibrant flow of arts in the ojai valley through our work many are involved and connected in ways that nourish a feeling of freedom and enlivening accessibility to arts that unify and connect us a fully community and arts connected hub i think i'm re repeating we are a known and felt presence, supporting a sense of place that partners, provides grants and forms, yeah, this is redundant, and unifies the community through arts. The Ohio Arts Commission works with other commissions, nonprofits, arts, and allied organizations. Our reliable database makes arts information, involvement, and en enjoyment easily accessible. You're gonna distill that, pardon? There we go. <laughs> But those are your, that's yours. Th those are your words that can use a little bit of editing because there's some repetition. <laughs> a big chunk of the Arts Commission is public arts. Mm -hmm. And, and um, so that, yeah. that, I didn't really hear that. And yeah. 
Yeah, great. Okay, so that sounds right. What uh, you guys want to do? You want to say what are some of? The, let me let's cross check what people are already signed up for and give people some. You guys want to volunteer? <laughs> and, <laughs> I, and I want to. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to. Um, now I'll call each of you in the next week. All right, and I want to you know get down to brass tacks there because there's a lot uh, this could go on and on and on and on too I'd, I'd love having um, Christine can help tie up in a, in a pretty bow the kind of language of what we come up with I like that you you I, I like your idea of uh, finding important guests to come to our, our meetings um, uh, Valerie I, I didn't say I was going to find the guests <laughs> <laughs> to be clear <laughs> okay you're going to uh, curate them maybe what, what, <laughs> what's the right word no I, I'm not signing on to okay. find the guests all right, but I'm I sorry. hope someone will all right but I, you know again just what we talked about with the public art and and um uh, Valerie and would will. help us help with our language will. too. Well, All right. Well, I was going to say, and I'm going to have Valerie work on uh, values. I love that, and and I like your uh, technology right. expertise as well. Is, is it, that's something that you'd like too? And then you guys can do anything you want. But Pam, I really like want your idea in, in, in terms of the product itself and how we do that. You've proven yourself <laughs> able to <laughs> make a product. I can help Oops. you find a bigger <laughs> magnet though. <laughs> yeah, I, I may have to re-engineer these a little bit. <laughs> And uh, you guys continue to, you know, work on your, your, um, what do we call it, inventorying, mm -hmm. that we have that as well. Uh, yes, uh, database and inventorying. Nigel, um, I, I want you to think about. Um, I saw Nigel. He hosted the Chamber of Commerce meeting this week, and, and I just saw that. Wow! I just looked around the room, and I'm there. Wow! I'm there. I don't like all you people, <laughs> but but I I like what you're doing. And Nigel, I like what you're doing is bringing them all together. You know, so I see you as kind of a, a face in communication where we we can uh, uh, two ways they learn about art and we and art learns about them in the same way. And you you'd be you'd be a great face for that too. So that's just sort of where I would like you to continue going. But I think we are also. Um, if, volunteering if I may, yeah may mm -hmm. I may yes. I make two comments the first is I agree with Valerie that we need to put public art in the vision but really what we're talking about is display conservation and education so we can call it public art but really it's about display and it's about most importantly conservation which leads me to my point about what I think I am yes. charged to do and that is twofold first with respect to the outdoor sculpture working with Pam on getting the database and then getting a an assessment a conservation assessment of what we need and then for works that need to be conserved to have that done obviously this is going to be a long process and it's going to be an expensive one potentially as well so it's going to go across our five years I suspect and then the fourth point is to grow that fund so that we can then make an evaluation of what we should do. do. Do we want to do something that's major? Do we want to do a number of minor things? We want to talk to the community about what the community wants. So that's on the outdoor piece. On the indoor collection, I see the importance of the database and getting an appraisal so we need to line up an appraiser and then make an assessment about conservation as well and then make certain decisions about what we keep and what we remove if we remove at all because careful pruning is a part of the importance of of maintenance mm -hmm. so that's what I see my job to be yes so that's uh, a public art. So there's like a strategic plan within, and and and, and mm -hmm. Christine, those those some of those will occur sooner than later along our right. uh, long term. Right. So so within our uh, within our strategic plan, there's little mini strategic plans in each of these areas, and I think Christine just eloquently 
got ahead of how fast you could I, I, write. I but just wanted to, well. yeah, I just wanted to say what I think I'm doing. No, good. I'm glad it's written. And, and so, Christine, and you're you're going to create, you're going to write the overview of the the public art needs st state of, state of a plan a needs plan and plan. Or, what, what you just said, yeah. if you could outline that. Yeah. You know, I also want to add to that with the city collection, um, and I talked to Christine about this, that it looks like they were annually adding a piece to the collection, and that that is kind of archival history of our town. You know, like a lot of the artists in the collection might not be major artists, but they were major Ojai artists. Mm -hmm. And I think having a collection that... Um, documents kind of what was going on here and when and and mm -hmm. um is important i, I, I wonder if you important. could i might suggest we call someone who has uh, inventoried their art in that sort of manner from some of these other cities and try to get some Oh, I, think oh, we're I don't good. think we Some need that. No, no, no. You know what we're doing. We're good. Well, I meant we in terms of the pro, like where does it go then? Uh, no, you know, I, I, yeah. I think we know yeah. what we're okay. doing in that. Regard. And by the way, I think there's a lot of interesting walls in this building that could <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this is a little is a bear, right? I mean, we need to worry about security and we need mm -hmm. to think about those issues. But absolutely, there's a, there's too many bare walls in this hall. Yeah, so but uh, have you guys, can uh, I can I just say this is exactly the kind of excitement that we need to put on parking lots for your meeting because you have so much energy, natural energy, to do th really great things. And I want us to sign up for the different parts of this project so that the plan happens. Okay. And, and yeah, with yes. uh, an idea that I had, uh, Christine, with the as assessing the different public art, I feel that the best assessor would be the original artist who created the pieces because they knew what it, the original is like and I was thinking if there's a way to do an outreach to the existing artist if they are alive and available so to set up a meeting with them at their piece and review it together um, just to assess what the needs, what the what the maintenance that would may, be. That may be a good idea for the assessor to meet with the individual artists if they're available. But the importance here is that we have one formal assessment. It's not unusual. It's typical. And federal law requires that we um, appropriately maintain work uh, California law, the California Art Protection Act, requires that we do the same. And so we need a professional assessor to come using the same tools and the same standards to give us the, the assessment. So we need to go about this step by step. And I absolutely agree with you that an assessor, and I'll make a note of this, that the assessor should meet with the artists if the artists are available. That's a great idea. So, Christine, you're still head of public art, that segment of this, and personalization of it and integrating it with the community. It's great. You're getting great ideas. Uh, the mission, I tagged you, Christine, as part of that because of the legal side of it, but some of your, uh, and, and I think, Valerie, you're on the first uh, vision uh, sorry, values, values team. I put yes. myself on tech I don't know right what you now. mean by the legal side of it. Well, I think that you know the when we were having the conversation on mission, what were the original principles of the mission? You were very aware of that, and so I don't know. I can take you off of that team, but uh, to I'd like for at least a couple of you guys to look at the mission. No, I'd like, yeah. I'd like to be a part of the mission. I'm just saying I, uh, I'm a commissioner. I'm not the commission's lawyer, and right. the city has a lawyer. I just want to be clear on rules of the road here. Perfect. What I mean is we all bring our skills, capabilities, and strengths, and you have an eye that understands that mm -hmm. natively. Right. And, and I don't know that I want to get 
mm-hmm. too much detail here because we're sort of on the spot and it's like a, uh, I don't want to feel like we're just handing out jobs to everyone now too right. I'd, I'd like us more to be saying are these the jobs that need done whether or not there's a person and is there anything missing from what we want to do that isn't covered by this I haven't been able to find one yet and, th- and then uh, so I'm, I'm trying to just prevent like all right, everyone here has to take one, you know. Uh, so if you can And we only help have an that, hour help left. Help me with that. Yeah. You may want to have a very simplified version of the 5 years and you might want to do it in terms of headlines where you start some of these efforts and they're more mature and that more of the community is feeling uh, the, the connected, everybody's involved, everybody who's in the arts has a place to go. Uh, there's a major installation by 20, 28, major public installation. We've developed more funds, something like that. I, I don't know if we want to pin that down. Okay. Microphone, please. Yeah. Microphone, please. I don't know if we want to pin that down for many reasons. The first is that I think we need to know what the community wants. Do we want large projects? Do we want small projects? Do we want them to be temporary? Do we want them to be rotating? There's quite a number of issues we need to look at. And so to pin down a major um, Mm -hmm. sculptural commission feels inappropriate at this point. Mm. Great. So then one of the objectives is going to be to know what the community wants and maybe have a, a, a greater involvement in the community and presence. So some of there, there are going to be some, so this is part of the power of print, <laughs> that when you see it and you say, oh no, I'm not ready to say that. Actually, what we really want is to be felt in the community. And when you write that on your five-year plan and people see it, they say, oh, well, this is happening. And they see that you're present at events. They see who you are, that the, there's visibility. They're hearing, hearing about you and hearing a kind of con- uh, harmonized story of your commitment in, in the community. So you're right, dial it back. Uh, and think if you you may or may not, but you may want to say something so that community members who might see it say, oh, yeah, that's what's happening. I I have seen them around. Oh, because what happens in the brain is when you say you're going to do something and it happens, people think, huh. And then when it happens again and it happens again, then you get a sense of reliability. And that also builds some of the momentum for the hub that you're looking to uh, become. Anyway, all right. Smitty, I agree with you about uh, are these the main things you want. Yeah, we don't have to this, tag everybody. That, 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 you, that's fine. That's yeah, fine. You guys uh, can choose. But, but and you've, you've what, broken what, some of these things down. What, one other, <coughs> excuse me, one other point I'd like to make with public arts is the, um, there, there are pre-existing art tours, which is the educational part of public arts. And some of the tours really need to be revamped, or I think of the public arts as a whole, the whole thing needs to be looked at at, and um, improve the tours, edit the tours. So I think tours is also a part of um, what needs to happen in the public arts arena. Or education. And education. Or communication, right. So so many things we actually do uh, will impact several of those. So I, and I guess it's it's sort of our job as commissioners to help manage, like, because, you know, it, 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 none of these really exists all by itself, you know, because especially when I'm looking at the tech hub thing, too. So, but what I want, that's good, but what I what you've done is just come up with something that's opportunity that needs attention and for sure it fits in the way we've organized here so we know that it can you know but if someone said we have to make a I'm trying to think build a bridge or I'm trying to say, and we'd look and say well I don't see where that fits because so we're not going to build a bridge 
Oh, look, I'm just thinking about because I looked out the window and I saw a bridge. And <laughs> what's a bridge called, <laughs> Nigel? <laughs> okay. Sometimes so my, you guys have my metaphors fall short sometimes. You guys have communication, outreach. That's both presence and communication. You talked about Nigel being a force uh, at the face of Ohio Arts. And I think in, in what arenas are you seeing that? Well, I, more? I wish you probably hear from Nigel. I don't, yeah. I don't want to tell him Because he's also an amazing writer by the way. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> it's just in terms of like some of the editing that you guys need <laughs> or writing. I'll do whatever you ask me to do. <laughs> I think it's yeah. In whatever form and however you want me to present that, I'm happy to do it. Oh, come on, Natch. What do you... Yeah. I, I don't think it's definable at mm -hmm. this point. Mm -hmm. But um, if, if you want me to go and represent the commission at council meetings, I'm more than happy to do that. If you want me to go and out into the community uh, when there's a meeting and explain what the Arts Commission is, that's fine. If you want me to write an article for the Ohio Valley News about what the Arts Commission is, what it does, what its aspirations are, and how we move forward and how we want to be connected to the community, I'm happy to do that too. So in whatever form you want me to do that. Heck, I'll get on the radio if you want me to, Smitty. Radio. And I'll use my radio voice. You have a <laughs> face made for radio. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, I think we have to define what communications mean at some point down the road. Mm -hmm. And then um, and figure out if, if, firstly, if I'm the right person for that, or if I'm the right person in certain areas and not other areas. But I'm more than happy to to serve in whatever capacity you deem me necessary. And thank you for the shout out for the writing, by the way. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. If I well, I think what Nigel's saying is it's all step by step, and I think that's exactly right. So we don't have much time left. So I think if we do sort of big picture, and then we can we can get to the step by step. I think you're here already, aren't you? We are. Uh, I wanted. To, I, I actually wanted to sign everything, but you're pulling me back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I'd like you guys to pick a pick a pick a few lanes of, of work. Uh, I mean, who? Because I think some of you, beyond Christine, I think did Pamela. You said you wanted to well, refine. Well, I, I was going to say in Tech Hub, mm -hmm. I'm making a list of the public art collection and the city collection and also making a, a database list of the nonprofits and the artists and um, the stakeholders. Um, so since I'm doing that, that seems like tech hub type mm -hmm. of thing. And yeah. then um, in terms of education, you know, I'm committed to uh, producing some enrichment classes this year, which hopefully at our next meeting I can get approved so we could Get the that. seminars that's so yeah. great right so we can get that done before right. our money runs out and i'll have a budget and everything so ho i'm hoping to get that kind of approved mm -hmm. okay so you've got material for and and i think you can distill some of what we've done around education and the tech hub just did did, did you say that valerie did you have a strength on tech or was that i don't know <laughs> well, I, I know that I do, but I spend a lot of time on the computer uh, in my private life doing my work. So um, if it's creative, yes. If it's uh, creating a database, no. Okay. Um, so uh, creatively, yes. I, I can do any, you know, web, Photoshop, all that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so web, yeah, web yeah. part. Okay. Smitty, I'm well, more than happy to well, help you out on the with the communication side. on the funding. Oh, oh okay. Because there's Valerie. some history there that you may not be aware, aware of than how Which funding, funding comes down for the Arts Commission from the Council. Ah. Uh, and how so you like want to present that. So, like budget stuff? Yeah. Okay, good. And if you want me to help with the interaction with the city staff, I'm more than happy to uh -huh. help there. Seems Great. I've got a history with both of those things. The communication, I'm just going to... Thank I you. I would be interested um, helping out with the maintenance part as far as the public art is concerned with with connecting with uh, just on the obvious uh, we have several pieces of public art that one has needed attention for probably 12 over 12 years and no one from the Arts Commission has gotten in touch with the artist um, but just from the visual obvious um, there's several 
pieces of public art that were in the works of being maintained and the ball um, I, I, I thank you but I think Pam and I have that under control what we're going to do is step by step we're going to get it assessed part of that can be consulting with the artist and then we'll make a determination about what happens so I think we do have the public art piece under control with with the assessment and the conservation and the maintenance so, so again I mean just to reiterate California law and federal law require attribution and integrity and we're going to handle the integrity aspect step by step professionally and appropriately um, we're not going to contact artists until the time to contact artists and we're going to make determinations about what to do consistent with the law and our obligations and I think Pam and I do have that under control and we were assigned to do that okay so Valerie I'm putting you as a consult uh, but they're they're heading that. No, I I, I no, I think oh. I don't want to. We only are too five people. Cooks with in too the kitchen. Many cooks in the kitchen. Gotcha. Okay. So I think really, Pam and I have it under control. All right. What a, what a, you know, and a, then uh, again, uh, that's why I like to look at these categories more as functions that we do mm -hmm. rather than some person or a vice president. And for some of these things. I, I see a committees that are formed, and I'm not talking about Arts Commission committees, I'm talking about people from the community that right. we think that we need to bring in to help us do what we do when we need to do. But ultimately, we want it to flow to uh, each of these areas um, to, to decide what they need and if they need help. So on the public art situation, I can tell you very clearly that Christine uh, has a, a very clear understanding of, of how either a standing committee or an ad hoc committee would work mm -hmm. um, with related to that and she's also familiar from when I was chair as well as who is willing uh, and able to serve on an ad hoc committee or a standing committee there as well ad hoc right. in, in all probability so I, I think there's the public art thing I agree with Christine is completely covered in every area uh, I think we don't really need to go on too much more about that quite frankly nice um, I think there's other areas that uh, Arts grants? Need of that. Arts grants? I'm sorry. I'm well, we spoke me. about creating a new form or application for that. Who's doing that? I think we we talked about just updating what we have with the with the grants application and then and, and setting up and creating a, the uh, readjusting the calendar. Mm, that would be great. Can you do that? Sure. Yeah, uh, actually, I think I already put together a preliminary thing to, if we want to put I that th on I the think, next agenda. Right. I think, right. In my agenda. experience, both as an applicant for a grant and as a commission member giving grants, I've found it to be very sloppy historically. And it was <laughs> like, uh, and I think, yes. Yeah, it is. Uh, there's some legal requirements with regard to the grant that has to be taken into account with mm -hmm. the city as well. But it so. needs its own sort of strategic plan within itself. I so. think so. It's written. Your name's up there, Valerie. You can't get it off. <laughs> Smitty? Mm -hmm. um, I put you in funding, and you're... I, I really feel like Nigel's going to be doing more writing than we're representing here in terms of some distillation overview. Uh, but that's going to come out at some point. Um, but I think you've got a sense of the work, and you. I was going to say, and that communication will be a light motif throughout. So mm. Yes. Nigel's strength. Yeah. Exactly. Well, will you, or is it our responsibility to condense this picture into a? Uh, uh, I saw you put some other things in the table. I'll condense it. <coughs> I mean, you already have the, the the boxes. Now we just sort of can start lining up some names, and then when I meet with you individually, you guys can say, "Hey, I need help," or "I don't need help." You know, you can, and and uh, that'll impact the, the budget has, stuff too. If it has a little so target, so Nigel and I on budget, I think, because I I feel like that's sort of, um, and there's thing you know, uh, 
Yeah. I'm almost changing the subject, but this is sort of how we kind of move forward because there's short-term things and long-term things. We're going to try to be doing more work um, uh, as individuals and out in the community and less sort of like uh, try to solve everything at, at, the, at our regular meetings. But there are some things we have to do at meetings, and I'm responsible for setting the agenda at the meetings. So when you, any of you feel like there's something that you think is, it, it takes uh, action to, to let me know. That's, otherwise, we're going to like go do our stuff. I mean, we didn't need to vote on this. <laughs> <laughs> you know? right. Smitty, do, do you have like a date, like a week before our commission meeting that you would like us to submit to you agenda items? Well, I would say anytime you're working on something and you come up with something and, and okay. then just let me know it and uh, okay. immediately, even if just an email, just say, hey, I'm wanting to do this or I need money for this or I w want us to uh, does this need a vote and if okay. so I want it on the next agenda okay. so know. the public needs to be notified a week ahead of time of what's on the agenda right okay. so because the, what the last opportunity you've had is eight days before the meeting to get something on the agenda That's good to know. right because what I don't want to happen is Robin sends me that notice the day it's due and says what do you want on the agenda and I just go ah <laughs> you know and, and so I want to have already said ah yes I have my list of what I want to put on the agenda when it comes so if you haven't gotten to me it's not going to get on the agenda okay so at the end of every meeting everybody's asked if there's anything they want to be put on the agenda for the next meeting too so that is a fabulous opportunity uh, but we know that things crop up yeah. in the course of times. But, <laughs> that you night in when but you Smitty up. also <laughs> doesn't want to be um, subsumed by 30 different things to get on the agenda uh, because otherwise you end up having four-hour meetings. Thank so, you. but I'll but I'll distill it down. I'll say no <laughs> or something. Yeah, yeah. Or a future I, item. I, our agenda, I think, has has been kind of it almost looked right. I think we can we can do a lot outside of meetings. Uh, but we don't want to miss things. I'm also going to be looking at other ways we can do things. I don't know with continuing resolution, continuing resolutions, or that sort of thing. Other ways that we can do our business and not feel like we're constrained by uh, constraints that are self-imposed. Smitty, oh, sorry, Smitty. Ouch! I asked. I put you on the healthy organization because staffing support. Be better. Or how we work it. together? <laughs> but you, you guys have actually pretty much managed to volunteer yourselves in, or be volunteered. But I think you're good. So we have, and and some of this is undefined. So you're going to pull this together, Valerie. You're going to work on distilling core values. Christine's on mission. Did anybody want to? Help her out. Yeah, I, 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 Nigel I, or somebody. I was going to mm -hmm. assist with the legal aspects of mission. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not signing up to be in charge of writing a mission statement. Yeah. But I'm pleased to support whomever wishes to. And what I recommend is you distill what we have here, cobble that. Uh, no, yes. I, I'm yes. saying I, I'm not doing that. Correct. Not just you. I, you're just. You're just added to it. But. It, yeah, and I feel that the core values will merge with the mission. So whoever is working with the mission, I think that uh, I should, we should work together because mm. that will include the core values. We'll benefit from core well values. Well, then do you want to take the lead? I mean, again, mm -hmm. I, just Your to support. be clear, I, I really have my hands full with what I am signed up to do. Support only. But I would like to collaborate yeah okay. you're there I got you is her name up there yet Pam at least I had her own values so that's sort of Pam and Valerie, Valerie. well also I mean how about Nigel if Nigel's a good writer let's make sure we get we get the written word because that's what it's all about well absolutely I will not let the mission statement get done without everyone having their fingers yeah. on it okay yeah, absolutely. so absolutely uh, uh, yeah. Even if it's just approval. Yeah. I, I'll yeah. design it. <laughs> What's that? You'll design it. It'll be beautiful. <laughs> great, great. That that worked. Okay, Nigel and Smitty, you're on budget funding. 
Smitty, the organization, the Tech Hub, Pam, you're heading that. And th when, we're the, when this is all together, the actual look and feel of the product. Uh, public art, Christine with Pam. Education, Pam, you're on that. Arts and Grants, Valerie, and that involves some specifics. And communication, uh, when it comes to pulling together a website, you're gonna pull in Valerie. The basic communication, that's Nigel, and I'm thinking probably Smitty. Yes, I, I, I continue until this is, and it has a bow on it, I, I wanna just sort of uh, be the kind yeah, of center over. of communication. And uh, yeah. Nigel said he'll do whatever I tell him. <laughs> You're our general. <laughs> right, so that's, that's your umbrella, and Nigel is your... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and and Sam if, Samurai. If, if, if I may, yes. as a part of the communication, and I think more particularly as a part of the looking out, looking in, one of my consistent frustrations has been the lack of support from the city. So we have been waiting for quite some time for a website, uh, and I'd like someone assigned to, to nag the city to make that happen. I have been asking consistently for an updated commissioner handbook. That has not happened. I've made other requests, for example, for a, an RF, RFQ uh, for art advisors. That has not happened. And so I feel a great, uh, while we are five work, hardworking people, I feel a great deal of frustration about our lack of support by the city. And I'd like to ask Smitty as our chair to take on the responsibility to stay on the city to make sure that we get the support we deserve. Yes, I think that's right where, where you're writing is right where that belongs. That's part of what makes us healthy and, and uh, vibrant and whatever the opposite of frustrated is. Happy. Really happy. <laughs> happy. <laughs> Great. Great. Supported. <laughs> Great. Okay. So you guys are, you guys are on track. I'll, I'll, I'll make this tool available to you so you can zoom in and out. I'll distill this the way I did these, but unfortunately you really have to go online to see it because they're tiny. Uh, but you'll see it's a model of how you look at these, break it down into your bullets, they're on post-its, and you'll have the freedom to s keep your work transparent to one another as well. Yay. Microphone, please. No, I didn't. It's my job. No. Uh, regarding, you're going you're gonna to all walk out of here and people are going to say, what happened? I missed it. What'd you do? What's going on? Uh, who wants to give a stab at the response? To what? You're going to walk out of here and people are going to say, hey, what happened? What'd you do? Your, your lips to God's ears, people <laughs> will ask what happened. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe not now, but eventually. <laughs> Let's well, I, again you know, so I think you, be the you change. Know, this is all part of the, just the process that we've been here, and, and, I, and uh, this was sort of uh, your request to uh, let us uh, stew in it a little bit before we came back together, and I think that, that stewing has, has bo both brought us a, sent a sense of... Um, how big a job it, it is and how important a job it is, but at the same time, uh, find a way that it, it's not overwhelming and we're able to, uh, to, to set some goals and actually kind of see them through and feel good about it in the process. So I, um, if I was going to report to the boss, the city council, and I will, I'm gonna tell them, we, have, we now have a clear picture of what, of what um, our mission is and who we serve. We have some wonderful ideas of goals that we'd like to achieve, and, but we realize we need to involve all of our stakeholders. We also need the tools and the support to make it happen because without the um, time and treasure uh, of people, it won't happen. Um, so uh, our plan, 
our five-year plan will come from this visioning. And I think that we have kind of concluded our visioning in a way, um, and, and now it's time to put it into, into practice. And I, and I don't think it's too daunting on a, any of the individuals right now. Um, and, and my plan is to get the support we need to, to make it happen. You know, I, and it, I'm going to present it to the council in a way that they absolutely could not see that and, um, and hopefully will we'll support it. I think we've divvied up the responsibilities nicely. Uh -huh. and, uh, yeah, I was scared of that, I think. Really? <laughs> I'm a chicken. <laughs> But I like people that aren't afraid to say yes and aren't afraid to say no. That's great. And, and the other thing I'll reflect back is uh, when I came in to this group, I don't even know that you were a group even. You were a bunch of individuals and some of you would kind of knew each other. But I feel like you've come together, you have a much better understanding of one another. You do feel like a team, very diverse team with an understanding of each other's strengths and capabilities. And I see you tossing things around to each other in new ways. I see you ha have laid the groundwork for the kind of work that you really have to set out to do. When I first met you, I didn't see, you weren't there. But today, I feel comfortable that you know where you've been, where this organization is from, wh what it's been through. You have respect for all of that and you have a real felt sense of the mandate and who you need to be connecting with, as Smitty said, and involving, because there's it's a perpetual research project, and you have a sense of not just prior ideas of what you're here for, but the current mission. And you have a, a, sh a shared feeling. The, the, the vision is an emergent, is what I call an emergent vision. We didn't put a bow around it because it's it's a beginning. And as you, and, and you know that as you set into the adventure, you start to discover what the adventure really is. And so that's where you are. So this is an organization, you know, this is a very different place. I'm looking at the San Mateo Arts Commission tome. <laughs> but where we are is in Ojai, and you've got a clear sense of something very powerful that connects the entire community of arts in ways that ripple out to stakeholders beyond even Ojai and to people of all ages. So that's all together. Uh, and you've got, you're going to do this five-year plan and you're going to be working together. You're going to meet every month. You're going to be working together one-on-one. -on -one. Virtually, you're going to have tools, and these are, I mean, I already presented one of them. I mean, this is not pie in the sky. This is all here and now and accessible, and you've got work, and you've got resources to pull together, inspire, and places to be, and wear beautiful name tags. <laughs> so it's an honor to work with you guys. I'm very excited about, and the reason why I even took this on with you, uh, I'm excited about what, you're, what you can do and what you really set up to do. I feel like you have the foundations to do what Ojai, ne Ojai Arts needs. Arts are the, the language of the soul of the place. And so you guys are tending that. You guys are the inspiring connectors. So it's very excited about what you have ahead of you. And it's, it's an honor to here you guys go out and speak this. What's up, Smitty? Hmm? What, you're looking around. Oh, I was counting how many of these were, and I was thinking of going to the city council meeting and just walk <laughs> 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 We just walk the across. The Vanner White. <laughs> <laughs> You've done a lot of work. That's a lot of work, yeah. Yeah. A any one of these lines, just add water, and it's a, it's a project, it's a painting, it's, it's a lot of depth. Uh, so what you've done is, 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 this is evidence of much more than what it is in any event. So you've got your work cut out for you. And uh, I want to thank you for, for bringing me in to, to support you. Before we close, yes. I, I'm not entirely clear on who's going to actually develop this plan. 
Are I think you developing Valerie, this plan? I think Are we Valerie developing and I, this plan? We're going to write the plan, right? No, wait. I thought you were writing the mission oh. statement. So we're, we're writing uh, and, and, and the values. I with core yeah, values. I'll, I'll, I, I will take the head on that, the lead on that. Okay. Um, and I you may assign different parts of it, but but right. I, I see myself you. as okay. being the kind oh, of okay. content. Um, okay. Okay. Um, Great. Captain. And, and Nusa, will yes. you be available to Smitty as needed? Yes. I've already told him. Great. That. Yes. Uh, I've offered to. And, and an all of us have said we'll have been, of course. But as as long as I know who is writing it, that gives me some sense of security. Well, when you look at Smitty and the writing, you're also looking at Nigel and you're looking at the structural. I mean, but what I see is I see that the pieces of this are accounted for and it's going to be, as, as Nigel said, it's, it's going to be in stages. So you're going to pull this together, the different segments, and then Smitty is the main receptacle and I'll make my tools available. And this town, this time, this team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, I also wanted to say the members of this art commission were on another commission, and I hope at this moment we're just completely dropping the past and starting fresh now, you know, think whatever pain or hurt. Or I think that was clear from our first session, the looking back session. Right. I think that was pretty clear that we're moving forward. Yeah. The, it, and and that's a, like, it's a great thing to, uh, to say that because it, without really honoring the battles fought and the war wounds and the, everything, the courage that it took to get to a place, it is hard to move forward. So that was a very important thing to see. Thank you. And thank you. Uh, because that is what frees you to move into this refresh, mm -hmm. a new chapter. And I thought that was a great wisdom on Nigel's part to close the chapter and say, okay, new, new chair, new, new tone. And then Smitty's stepping in with a different feeling, different style. And so, yeah, this is a refresh. This is my cue to bring it to a close. It is. Oh, yeah, and do do a checkout. Let's see what everybody oh, ask okay. it, everybody to say what they you, you do where they are. Out. Where are you guys as we as we pull this together? I thought I just didn't mind. <laughs> I, you know what I've been curious about, and maybe this is the moment to do it. I've because we've not gathered in this way before, I'd be interested in knowing why everyone sort of signed up to be on the Arts Commission and why you wanted to be on the Arts Commission. And um, can we do that, Smitty? Sure. Starting with you? Starting with me? Oh. <laughs> well, you are I mean, I, I've been in Ojai for uh, 27 years, and I have... Uh, uh, been an artist and have been the beneficiary of uh, arts uh, grants from this from this commission. I chose Ohio to live in because it was a, a beautiful place with beautiful artistic people that can express themselves. Um, so, and I and in in getting grants and coming for the commission, I was always like, wow, this is cool that this exists, you know, and it's really going to help. You know, I think I got, we got a grant for a seniors choir one year, for example, and I remember thinking that, you know, what I'm doing here is really good, and these people get it, and they're, you know, they're giving me a little money, but it, it more than that, they, it showed me that they kind of really got it. You know, on a personal basis, I've always felt like government service was uh, an important um it was an important endeavor from people who have benefited from what sort of democracy has uh, presented, opportunities have, to, to bring um, sort of, a, you know, wisdom, if you will, from, from a lifetime of, of, of benefiting from what our society has. So when Nigel approached me, I mean, um, uh, to be a member of the Arts Commission. Of course, I said, no, <laughs> I guess I don't need anything else. Um, you know, but 
you know, it's not until you say no that you, you start to say, well, why do I say no? And because of everything I already said when, when he did ask, I, I said, well, maybe this is a good, a good place uh, to, you know, start a little bit of service and giving back. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's really why I did it. One, one for the salary or benefits, you know. <laughs> so, Christine, how about you? I'll go next. So, uh, service and, and giving back is exactly why I wanted to serve. Uh, so, I moved to Ojai after uh, many years in the arts uh, as a lawyer, in, in the arts in Washington, D.C., and in Los Angeles. And um, I have a uh, wealth of knowledge on the legal side as well as on the artistic uh, art world, uh, as, as, as it were, both uh, representing collectors, representing museums, uh, but also artist foundations. And so it's given me good grounding in the arts, and I've wanted to bring that experience and that interest to help my little town. Yeah, I've answered this question so many times previously, but I'll keep it nice and short. Ojai has been fabulous to me, and I felt it was time to give back to this community. Uh, and I think I have a, a wide-ranging skill set that was lacking on the Arts Commission. Um, and I felt that I could uh, positively impact our community uh, from a position on a city commission as against as a, a private citizen in town. Uh, and I think I have, and I'll continue to do that. I always go, my brain shuts off when the microphone goes on. Um, Speak from your heart. Then. From my heart. Well, well I'm a visual artist. I've been a visual artist for over 50 years. And I also have a talent for community building. And uh, through my experiences in Orange County, being exhibition director, Orange County Center for Contemporary Art, and moving to Ojai, I felt like I was brought here to do something. And um, service uh, was part of our family motto. So I have always been um, one who has sought how can I serve? And the arts is, is where my talents lie. And I'm happy to be here. Yay. Chop wood and carry water. That's my skill. <laughs> I was um, requested to be a commissioner, so that's why I applied. I feel I could make a, um, an impact and a difference and... Um, just from my world travels of experiencing different cultures and arts from technology and innovation and um, centuries and centuries of public art that go back millenniums. Uh, I just feel I, I have a lot to bring to Ojai to turn on the light and to make a difference. And I love collaborating and um, inspiring and I, yeah, I feel very honored to be part of the Arts Commission and to work as a team and to really make things happen. Thank you all. Thank you. It's getting smaller and smaller. Yep. It's, yeah, that's your. And, and actually, Christine, thank you. That was one of my dinner topics for you guys that we didn't get to. So uh, the journey that led you and why you were here. Uh, as we go forward, having been called to be in the Arts Commission in various ways, where are you now? We're, we've landed this plane to to where you have work to do. So there's work, but you know, you've got the, the pieces are in place to put that together. And you've also got ways of working and ways of being together, a clear sense of mission, stakeholders, immediate work, ripe, low-hanging fruit, as well as 
the larger project and working together you've got a clear message about mission who we serve the need to involve the stakeholders we did this visioning session we came back to go into the specifics and plan and putting in divide responsibilities to cobble the plan and uh, we'll be supporting and seeking support as well and moving forward as a, a united arts commission that's that's where I see we are so how where are you guys as we check out and by check out I mean where are you because we're bringing this to a pause you've got the next steps clear I am available I'm not going away but you've got the next this, I'm handing the baton back to you guys and you've got a plan to for a plan thank you Nusa uh, so I'll uh, I'll uh, I, I will take the responsibility of contacting each of you individually and sort of turning this into like actual steps, which it will involve a little like where it sits on the cloud or on computers, that kind of thing is going to be a big part of that too. But uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that I'm there to either help or get out of your way or, or push you to, uh, I think all of our work will probably become sort of uh, commission documents that we can all always check in on, if not edit uh, directly as well. Uh, I just want to thank Nusa. Um, we, uh, it feels like a year ago, Nigel kind of directed us to, um, to, uh, to, to, you know, to, to do the five-year plan, which was due three years ago, and we had not got it done. And, um, it was it was hard to even sometimes find dates but you know Nigel you stewarded us through this all and got us to this point that that just it really I could tell you really seemed kind of daunting if I if I go back to to where we were from where we are right now and I think we've all kind of settled in and know where our places are here know what we can do know where we need help know when to move as an individual know when to play as a teammate. I think we have a lot better ideas of all that right now. And uh, Noosa, just with your talent and skill and experience and um, and your uh, demeanor um, and intelligence, um, you've, you've, uh, you've really helped us set a, a, a time and a place when we can pull this all together. So um, I want to thank you for that because I know you did so much just out of love of the community. I hope uh, our other uh, institutions in this community can see the value of doing this with NUSA or, or, or but mainly this process. I think it, it brings a lot, a lot more um, civility to democracy. Uh, so thank you for that. Okay. And uh, so I am, let me see, to make this legal, I probably need nothing more than to say until the next, uh, we probably have a meeting scheduled, but you'll receive communication on that uh, for the next uh, meeting. What are you gonna do a here? A couple words from each person, just okay. where, where each, just to check out, is it possible? Why don't you call them? I apologize, I apologize, <laughs> the, because they're so generous. But just a little just a little point of checkout, because we've all come together, and I, you guys are gonna be doing this over and over, but just to check in with where you are as you're leaving, and then Smitty will close you. So I, I joined Smitty in thanking you for this impressive process. I mean, it's been two and a half day, full days of really digging into who we are, what we're doing, looking in, looking out, and thank you for your commitment, your intelligence, your consistency, your additional work far beyond what you are compensated for, and truly, it, we are deeply appreciative. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And you're welcome. Are we going around in the same circle again? Uh, I, I think we're all going to say the same thing and, and support Smitty and Christine in, in what they've said. Uh, I've got nothing to add for that. They've said it uh, perfectly well. Um, so I'll just say thank you very much. Um, the analogy of land in the plane is a little concerning to me simply because that's often the end of the journey. Uh, and I know that you have said, but I, I, I prefer to look at this as uh, we're down for refueling and getting ready to take off again uh, in, in the direction in which we were uh, headed before we had to refuel. 
So it's a round-the-world trip, and planes can't fly around the world at the moment. Uh, so we're refueling, as far as I can see. Um, nobody's getting off the plane while that, that process is taking <laughs> place. And um, we're all going to be on it when it takes off again under Smitty's um, stewardship at the controls. So thank you for taking that on, uh, you and Christine, too. Appreciate it. That's great. Mm. <laughs> well, ditto to everything that's been said. G much gratitude, much love to all of you. Um, I feel like I've been, I had been sitting on the sidelines at all our commissioner meetings so far, not really knowing what I was supposed to be doing and feeling like I was waiting for this get together, this, this seminar to figure out what it was to do. And being a bit like a border collie, you know, that if you do, go, don't give me an assignment, I'm going to chew up your furniture. Um, I feel really good. I, I know what I want to do. I know how to do it. And I can get it done. And I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. And ditto to everything that I just really enjoyed just being able to sit. As I came in like a clean slate pretending like I don't know anybody and I'm going to be um, experiencing and learning about each other from like a fresh start, you know, just with an open heart and just really learning and, and hearing fellow commissioners of what everybody has to say and share feels, I feel like Nusa, you created a safe zone for everybody just to speak and, and feel safe about speaking and and listening and having an open heart and I, I greatly appreciate that and I appreciate um, everybody here for what we all shared thank you thank you, you to you now it's yours well, all yours there is one thing that occurs to me I I do a lot of arts related activities in this town as I assume all of us do and I would not feel comfortable wearing